Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, it's a first round game between Manistee and Sioux Area High School. Coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvi Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Traverse City Central, congratulations on being our season 15 champions. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Ozanek and welcome to the 16th season of Quiz Central. This season, our teams will be independently challenged with the same set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly will advance to the next round. This season of Quiz Central will consist of 16 teams divided into four divisions based on school enrollment. At the end of the season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the white division takes center stage. So without further ado, let's get today's match underway. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Each team will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points and there is no point deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but will be taking final answers solely from the team's captains. Manistee, here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush round. What 2019 film in which, in which villainous Thaddeus Silvana becomes the vessel of the seven deadly sins stars Zachary Levi as the title DC superhero? Shazam. Shazam. Correct. What phenomenon named after a British botanist who observed it in pollen is the random motion of particles suspended in a fluid? Uh, like surface tension? Incorrect, next question. What materials, examples of which include TAE and TBE, typically contain a weak acid and its conjugate base and resist large changes in pH? Basis. Incorrect, next question. What West Virginia family, whose patriarch was known as Devil Ants, had a bitter feud with the McCoys in the late 1800s? Anyway. Belief. Incorrect. Next question. What novella in which the diseased maid Paquette leaves Westphalia before reuniting with the optimistic Dr. Pangloss in a 1759 satire by Voltaire? No. Okay, Voltaire. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. On to the next question. What ancient Greek philosopher stated that one cannot step in the same river twice to illustrate his view that the world is constantly in flux? Plato Socrates. Socrates. Incorrect, on to the next question. Eleanor Holmes Norton is a house delegate for what entity, which was the subject of a June 2020 house bill intended to make it the 51st state? Uh, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Rico. Incorrect, on to the next question. The 1976 song, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, was written by Bernie Taupin and what knighted English musician oh, whose other songs John. include Tiny Dancer? Correct. Manistee, you were able to get two correct answers in that first round for a total of 20 points, a very tough uh, maroon and gold rush opening round. The questions that you did not get, the phenomenon named after that British botanist was the Brownian, that's what we were looking for. Uh, what materials include examples of TAE and TBE? Those were buffer solutions is what we were looking for. Uh, that West Virginia family that had the feud with the McCoys were the Hatfields. Uh, the novella by Voltaire was Candide. That ancient Greek philosopher uh, who said one cannot step in the same river twice was Heraclitus. Uh, and Eleanor Holmes that uh, Bill intended to make it the 25th state was Washington, D.C. That was the answer we were looking for. All right, Manistee, that ends your first round of questions. Now we will head to Sioux Area High School. So Sioux Area High School, here is your first question in the Maroon and Gold Rush round. Two minutes on the clock. What 2019 film in which the villainous Thaddeus Savannah becomes the vessel of the seven deadly sins stars Zachary Levi as the title DC superhero? 
Shazam. Correct. What phenomenon named after a British botanist who observed it in pollen is the random motion of particles suspended in a fluid? Do you have a guess? What? Okay. Uh, no answer. No answer. On to the next question. What materials, examples of which include TAE and TBE, typically contain a weak acid and its conjugate base and resist large changes in pH? Is it a buffer? How is it named buffer? Buffer. Correct. What West Virginia family, whose patriarch was known as Devil Ants, had a bitter feud with the McCoys in the late 1800s? Somebody in the McCoys. Is it Hatfield? What is it? Hatfield? Hatfield, maybe. I don't know. Hatfields? Hatfields, correct. On to the next question. What novella in which the diseased maid Paquette leaves Westphalia before reuniting with the optimistic Dr. Pangloss is a 1759 satire by Voltaire? Oh, shoot. I just read this. Um, um, Hamlet? Hamlet? I can't remember. I don't know. No answer. No answer. On to the next question. What ancient Greek philosopher stated that one cannot step in the same river twice to illustrate his view that the world is constantly in flux? Oh, sorry, with the bell there, we are going to have to end that round. Sue Area, in your opening round, you scored three correct answers for a total of 30 points in your opening round. Those answers that you didn't get that we were looking for, the, ph the phenomenon named after a British botanist, we were looking for Brownian, Brownian motion. Uh, and that novella about the disease made by Voltaire, Candide. Candide is the answer that we were looking for there. Well, with Run Round in the books, let's take a moment now and meet our contestants from each of today's schools. We'll begin with today's competitors from Manistee High School. I'm Olivia Holkren. I'm a senior in Manistee High School. I run cross country and track and participate in the choir. I'm Jack Holkren. I'm a senior at Manistee High School. I'm on the soccer team. All right, my name's Luke Coy. I'm a junior at Manistee High School. I'm on the football team. I ski in the winter and then do track in the spring. Hi, I'm Solana Postma. I'm a junior at Manistee, and I swim, run cross country, and play soccer, and I'm also on Science Olympiad. Thank you. Now let's meet our next team in today's competition, the students from Sioux Area High School. Take it away. Hi, I'm Bonnie. I'm a senior at Sioux Area High School, and I am this year's Quiz Bowl team captain. I really enjoy violin, and I play in several orchestras. Hi, I'm Maya. I am a junior at Syria High School, and I figure skate. Hello, I'm Corey Armstrong, and I'm a junior at Syria High School, and I like to play games. Hi, I'm Emily McLean. I'm a senior at Syria High School, and I volunteer, play basketball, and run track. Well, now that we've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect Ten. In this round, each team will be given a category and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as they can. Teams can still consult on each question, but I'll be taking final answers from our captains. So Manistee High School, your category in the Perfect 10 round today is DH. Identify these things that can be abbreviated DH. 60 seconds on the clock, and here comes your first question in the Perfect 10 round. DNA structure discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick. Uh, double helix. Double helix. Correct. Baseball position used in 2019 only in the American lead. Designated hitter. Designated hitter. Correct. An unexpectedly successful political candidate. Dark horse. Dark horse. Correct. A fast variety of skiing. Downhill. Downhill. Correct. Group of items including the invisibility cloak and resurrection stone. Death Deathly Hollows. Deathly Hollows, correct. Volcanic cone on Oahu. Pass. Strike that lands exactly as intended. Strike. Direct hit. Oh, direct hit. Correct. 
actor who starred in Rain Man and The Graduate? Dale Hopkins. <laughs> Incorrect. ABC drama about women on, oh, we were not able to get to that question. You're able to get through seven questions in your perfect uh, 10 round, one, two, three, four, five, six correct answer, so great job there. The questions that you missed, that volcanic cone on Oahu that we were looking for was Diamond Head, and the actor who starred in Rain Man and The Graduate was Dustin Hoffman. So after your perfect 10 round, you have a total of 80 points. All right, Sue Area, your perfect 10 category for today is DH. Identify these things that can be abbreviated DH. 60 seconds on the clock, here comes your first question in the perfect 10. DNA structure discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick. Double helix. Double helix. Correct. Baseball position used in 2019 only in the American League. Designated hitter. Correct. An unexpectedly successful political candidate. Dark horse. Dark horse. Correct. A fast variety of skiing. Downhill? Yeah. Downhill? Correct. Group of items including the invisibility cloak and resurrection stone. Uh, Deathly, Hallows. Deathly, Hallows. Deathly Hollows. Correct. A volcanic cone on Oahu. Uh, Sandy no. no answer. No answer. Next question. Strike that lands exactly as intended. Direct oh, yeah. Direct hit? Correct. Oh, and with that bell comes the end of your perfect 10 round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sue Area, you were able to get six correct answers uh, for a total of 60 points in your perfect 10 round. That brings your score after, score after two rounds up to 90 points. In the perfect 10, those questions that we did not get answers to, that volcanic cone on Oahu was Diamond Head. That is the one that we were looking for. And that is the only question that we gave you that you guys didn't answer correctly. So great job in your perfect 10 round. After two rounds of competition, our current score is Manistee with 80 points and Sioux area with 90 points. So without further ado, let's head into our third round of the day, the home stretch round. I'll be asking each team a series of questions. The teams will be able to consult with each other, but I'll be taking final answers from the team's captains. Manistee, here comes your first question in today's home stretch round. What adjective, named for a British logician, describes expressions that evaluate to true or false? Uh, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. On the next question. What MLB team won a league record 22 straight games in 2017, lost the 2016 World Series to the Cubs, and plays at Progressive Field in Northern Ohio? Uh, Cleveland Indian. Indians. Cleveland Indians. Correct. Heinrich Himmler led what Nazi paramilitary organization that helped destroy its rival, the SA, in the Night of the Long Knives? This Hitler Youth? That's what I'd say. What? That's what I'd say. Or Gestapo. Gestapo. Incorrect. On to the next question. The 1839 Treaty of London recognized the independence and perpetual neutrality of what country that had been ruled by the Netherlands since 1815? Australia. Incorrect. What character claims an absence of barking was the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime in Silver Blaze, a story by Arthur Conan Doyle? Sherlock Holmes. Correct. Diophantine equations have solutions restricted to what set of numbers denoted by the letter Z, whose members do not have fractional parts? Whole numbers. What? Whole numbers. Whole numbers. <laughs> Incorrect. On to the next question. Which of the Great Lakes on which the city of Rochester lies is the namesake of a Canadian province? Ontario. Ontario. <laughs> Correct. What celestial being who in Islam revealed the Quran to Muhammad was in the Bible an archangel who performed the Annunciation to the Virgin Mary? Gabriel. <laughs> Correct. What composer, whose piano concerto number 26 is nicknamed The Coronation, left his requiem unfinished at his death and wrote the opera The Magic Flute? Oh, Mozart. Mozart. 
Mozart, final answer? Yes. Correct. What country's second legislative election of 2019 saw the Blue and White Alliance, led by Benny Gantz, win 33 seats in the Knesset? Israel. Israel. Correct. What Roman emperor who built the Temple of Venus in Roma abandoned the expansionism of Trajan and marked Britannia's northern border with a wall? Is Octavian? Octavian? Incorrect. Next question. During the 1880s, the Mahdi led an uprising in what modern-day African country, where the Fashuda incident took place between Britain and France? Anyone? Sierra. Yeah. What? Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Incorrect. And with that belt, that bell, that comes the end of the round. You did pretty good in that round, Manistee. One, two, three, four, five, six correct questions answered, which brings your total up to 140 points at the end of round three. Those questions that we did not get in that round, the adjective named after a British logician, we were looking for a Boolean named after George Boole. Uh, that paramilitary organization that destroyed the SA was the SS. Uh, that 1839 Treaty of London recognized the independence of Belgium. Uh, Diophantine equations there on that question, we were looking for integers. Uh, let me see, the Roman emperor who built the Temple of Venus in Roma was Hadrian, and that country in Africa uh, where the Fashuda incident took place was the Sudan. Sue Area, here comes your first question in today's home stretch round. What adjective named for a British logician describes expressions that evaluate to true or false? Uh, skip. No answer. On to the next question. What MLB team won a league record 22 straight games in 2017, lost the 2016 World Series to the Cubs, and plays at Progressive Field in Northern Ohio? I don't know. Just White Sox? Incorrect. On to the next question. Heinrich Himmler led what Nazi paramilitary organization that helped destroy its rival, the SA, in the Night of the Long Knives? Okay, I'm going to defer to you. Defer to Corey. Corey? Can you unmute your face? Third right. Incorrect. On to the next question. The 1839 Treaty of London recognized the independence and perpetual neutrality of what country that had been ruled by the Netherlands since 1815? Okay, Ireland. Incorrect. On to the next question. What character claims an absence of barking was the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime in Silver Blaze, a story by Arthur Conan Doyle? What? Sherlock Holmes. Correct. Diophantine equations have solutions restricted to what set of numbers, denoted by the letter Z, whose members do not have fractional parts? What set of numbers? Oh, uh, integers. Integers. Oh, yeah. integers. Integers is correct. Which of the Great Lakes on which the city of Rochester lies is the namesake of a Canadian province? Ontario. 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 Lake Ontario, correct. What celestial being who in Islam revealed the Quran to Muhammad was in the Bible an archangel who performed the Annunciation to the Virgin Mary? Michael. Michael. Incorrect. On to the next question. What composer, whose piano concerto number 26 is nicknamed the Coronation, left his requiem unfinished at his death and wrote the opera The Magic Flute? Oh, Mozart. 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 Correct. What country's second legislative election of 2019 saw the Blue and White Alliance, led by Benny Gantz, oh, we're not going to be able to get to the end of that question, so that brings your third round, your home stretch round, to a close. Great job. You got four correct 
answers in that round for a total of 40 points, which brings your total up to 130 points after three rounds of play. Those home stretch round questions that you missed, uh, the adjective that describes an expression that evaluates true or false, we were looking for Boolean. Uh, the MLB team that plays in Northern Ohio, the Cleveland Indians. Uh, the Nazi paramilitary organization uh, that destroyed the SA was the SS. The 1839 Treaty of London recognized independence for Belgium. And the celestial being who performed the Annunciation to the Virgin Mary, we were looking for Gabriel. After the home stretch round with a score of 140 to 130, we now head into the final countdown. Contestants will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is still worth 10 points. Teams can consult and answers will be coming from the captain. Manistee, here is your first final countdown question. What state? whose Kings Canyon National Park is home to many giant sequoia trees, also includes Half Dome, which is in its Yosemite National Park. California. Correct. What Bill of Rights Amendment mandates the use of grand juries, outlaws double jeopardy, and forbids forcing defendants to incriminate themselves? This, the Fifth Amendment. Correct. What space program, whose fifth mission carried the dogs Belka and Strelka into orbit, was a Soviet program that in 1957 launched the first satellite? Sputnik. Correct. Chongqing and Wuhan are cities on what river that is spanned by the Three Gorges Dam? Okay, the Yellow, the Yellow River. Yellow River. Incorrect. On to the next question. What man used the ship in constant to escape from exile on the island of Elba, but was later banished to St. Helena after losing the Battle of Waterloo. Napoleon. 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 Napoleon, correct answer. What god was married to Sijin, gave birth to the horse Slepanir, gave Horder the mistletoe spear that killed Balder, and was a Norse trickster god? Loki. Loki, Loki correct. What Hungarian composer of the Mephisto Waltzes also wrote a set of Hungarian Rhapsodies? Uh, Brahms. Incorrect. On to the next question. What biblical book, which, men which mentions seven bowls or plagues that include a battle at Armageddon, is by John of Potmos and concludes the New Testament? Revelation. Correct. What president ordered that government funds be placed in pet banks and opposed renewing the second bank of the United States Charter in the 1830s? 1830s? Jackson? Mm -hmm. no. Okay, Andrew Jackson. Correct. What element, oh, we're not going to be able to get to that question, so with the sound of that bell comes the end of your final countdown. You did really great in that final countdown there, Manistee, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions answered correctly that brings you to a grand total of 210 points uh, for your four rounds of quiz central today those final count those final countdown questions that you missed uh, those two rivers are on the uh, those two towns in china are on the yangtze river uh, spanned by the three gorges dam that's the one we were looking for there the hungarian composer was franz Liszt, uh, and i think those two are the only two that you missed in your final countdown all right, thank you, Manistee. And now Sioux Area High School. Here comes your first question in today's final countdown. What state, whose Kings Canyon National Park is home to many giant sequoia trees, also includes Half Dome, which is in its Yosemite National Park? California. Correct. What Bill of Rights Amendment mandates the use of grand juries, outlaws double jeopardy, and forbids forcing defendants to incriminate themselves? Fifth. Fifth Amendment is correct. What space program, whose fifth mission carried the dogs Belka and Strelka into orbit, was a Soviet program that in 1957 launched the first satellite? What? What is the Sputnik? Yeah, Sputnik. Correct. Chongqing and Wuhan are cities on what river that is spanned by the Three Gorges Dam? Uh, Yangtze River? The Yangtze River. Correct. What man used the ship in constant to escape from exile on the island of Elba, but was later banished to St. Helena after losing the Battle of Waterloo? Napoleon. Correct. What god was married to Sinjin, gave birth to the horse Slepanir, 
gave Hoder the mistletoe spear that killed Balder and was a Norse trickster god. Loki. Correct. What Hungarian composer of the Mephisto waltzes also wrote a set of Hungarian rhapsodies? Oh, man. Handel? Incorrect. Next question. What biblical book, which mentions seven bowls or plagues that include a battle at Armageddon, is by John of Potmus and concludes the New Testament? The what? Crazy revelations? 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 Correct. What president ordered that government funds be placed in pet banks and opposed renewing the Second Bank of the United States Charter in the 1830s? Jefferson. Jefferson? Incorrect. Oh, just like that. With that bell comes the end of your final countdown round. You did great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven correct answers, which gives you a grand total of 200 points. In your final countdown, those questions that you missed, Sue Area, uh, the Hungarian composer we were looking for was Franz Liszt. And the president that ordered the government funds be placed in pet banks, uh, that was Andrew Jackson, president in the 1830s. Well, after four rounds of competition, our final score is Manistee 210 and Sioux Area 200. Congratulations to Manistee. You'll be advancing to our next round of competition. And we want to thank Sioux Area for a hard-fought match. What an incredibly close game. Seniors, good luck to all of you on your future endeavors. And underclassmen, we hope to see you next season on Quiz Central. We hope all of you will join us again in our next episode of Quiz Central as two more schools compete for the Season 16 title. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson? Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Traverse City Central, congratulations on being our season 15 champions.